It was a long day Friday and even longer Saturday as GEC officials and volunteers spent a grueling 14 hours recounting the election ballots. GEC Executive Director Maria Pangolinan. That was because the hand counting on the legislature side, that's 15 seats, 30 candidates, that takes a long time with the hand counting. And it comes up to make it so that it was worth the while. You know, uh, everybody's assured that the results are what they are supposed to be. As we reported, the GEC started Friday machine tabulating precincts 4 in Agate, 6 in Umatic, 13A in Agania Heights, and 18C in G in Dededo. Precinct 4 showed obvious error in data, with incumbent Adolfo Palacios receiving zero votes and Democrat senatorial candidate Leibeth Nahalawa receiving one vote. Election systems and software technicians traced the problem to a corrupt disk transferring data from the machine to the software system. The same disk carried Precinct 6, 18C, and G. Precinct 13A, meanwhile, was recounted due to the ballots being double counted. Shortly after the machine tabulation was complete, GEC conducted a hand count of Precinct 4 due to the discrepancies and at random Precinct 13A to ensure further accurateness. GEC and the respective party representatives spent all of Saturday hand counting over a thousand ballots in total. Unofficial results showed the hand count was pretty accurate with no significant changes and just a margin of one or two votes difference for the machine count on about a dozen candidates in the Guam legislature. Palacios' zero votes in Precinct 4 did jump up to 264, but was still a big gap between his number 16 position and the number 15 position held by Roy Respicio, just a little under 400 votes. GEC conducted a machine tabulation of two more precincts chosen at random, Precinct 14A in Mongmong Toto Maiti and 16 in Manilao, and compared the results with the unofficial count. Board Chairman Joe Mason notes the machine recount verified the Commission's suspicions of discrepancies from the original count. The solution to the problem, Pangolinan says, is new tabulators. It's going to be very difficult if we're forced to use the same equipment for the next election. Approximately 147 nonpartisan ballots that went missing were run through the machine Sunday afternoon. Those were nonpartisan ballots. They were the last. Um, they were the last precinct to come in, and the second to the last precinct to check out. And so they. And so the nonpartisan ballots were put were at were um, uh, incorrectly put in the supply box. So those were retrieved. Meantime, the final hand count for two close races were also done Sunday. The mayoral race in Asimaina showed Joanna Blas taking the spot with 293 votes over Vincent Babauta's 277. The same goes for the vice mayoral race in Agate, where incumbent Augustin Kentaniza will retain his seat over his challenger Derek Hills. The commission will spend the week addressing about a dozen election complaints filed with their office and meet this Thursday at 5.29 p.m. to clear up other election administrative issues. The GEC will certify the election results during its next regular meeting on November 19th at 5.26 p.m.